Hi there, welcome to the Rye Public Library tutorial on Mango Languages. I'm Lisa Hood and I'm here to show you one of my favorite Rye Public Library databases. Here at the library we're pleased to offer this fun and easy way to learn another language and with over 30 languages to choose from we've got you covered. To access Mango Languages from home you're going to need your library card number and you'll need to follow the prompts for setting up an account. And to do that, you'll need your email address and a verification request will be sent to your email in which will be included a link and you need to click on that link to verify your account. And from that point on, it's very similar to accessing Mango Languages from a library computer, which I'll show you now. Uh, I think what I need to say about this is what makes it so fun and effective is the use of real life situations as well as actual conversations. Um, so follow me to discover a fun and free way to learn a new language or brush up on one you already know. So I'm here at my home uh, desktop and I'm simply going to click to get online. Type in ryepubliclibrary.org, our website. which brings me to the home page. I'm going to hover over online library, scroll down to Mango Languages and, and click on that. And this brings me to a brief overview of the Mango Language database. To get into the program, I simply click on this icon and that brings me to a few choices. First, you can click on Start Learning and you can just dive right in and, and get started. But in order to track your progress, in a language, you'll need to create a profile. So if you had already created a profile, you would use this login section here. But we're going to start with a brand new profile. So I'm going to type in my email address. And my password. And what you'll need to do is make sure you write this down somewhere for future reference click sign up. Now an activation email as it says has been sent to my account so I'm going to open a new window, go to my Gmail account, retrieve that link that I mentioned earlier and there's my Mango Language link. I'm going to click there and right inside the link you see this um, inside the email you see a link. I'm going to click on that which will bring me to the dashboard. This is exciting. Uh, I've obviously done no learning, I've studied no courses, and have completed no lessons so far, but let's change that. So I'm going to jump right into courses, this tab. You'll see a list of all of the languages that are offered through this program, and the ones with an orange dot indicate a popular course, and I was very excited to learn about Pirate. You can see it right here. But for today, I'm going to click on French Canadian. I'm going to explore some of my own heritage and I'm going to start right away with the basics. So I'm going to click on basic which brings me to whoops there it is sorry click on launch and it's loading my course so I'll wait for just a moment. Alright from here we're going to just click on start learning and I'm going to start right at the beginning, Who Are You? Chapter 1. So let's see what we find. Alright, so within Lesson 1, it gives you an overview of what you will learn. We're going to be able to greet others, bid them farewell, introduce myself formally, and meet new people. So I'm going to click on this green arrow. By the end of this chapter, you'll be able to easily participate in a conversation like this. Je vais bien. Je m'appelle Nathalie. Quel est votre nom? Je m'appelle Marc. Enchanté de vous connaître. Moi aussi. Enchanté de vous Isn't that fun? It's so great to hear them speak the language. I'm going to click on the advance to go to the next slide. The translation of Je vais bien is I am good. However, you are literally saying I go well. Je vais bien. Let's go to the next one. You can see this is a very simple introduction to the beginning of a language. Now let's learn I. Je. Je. Okay. Now try to say I. Je. Je. 
You'll notice that I clicked on show the answer to hear them say it back to me. Listen carefully. Ve means go. Now you try. Say ve. Ve. Now try and say go. Ve. Ve. Okay, good. Okay, now try to say I. Je. Je. How do you say go? Ve. Ve. Let's learn how to say well. Bien. Bien. Isn't this easy? Now say well. Bien. Bien. Let's hear you say I. Je. Je. Next slide. How do you say go? Ve. Ve. Next slide. Try to say well. Bien. Bien. Put the pieces together to say I am good. You are literally saying I go well. Je vais bien. Je vais bien. Great. All right, let's see what's next. The way to say my name is Natalie is to literally say I call myself Natalie, which is Je m'appelle Natalie. Je m'appelle Natalie. Okay, so you'll notice that with other languages, you will go through the same progression as you are seeing with this French Canadian. I'm going to close this particular course and go back to the course tab. And just for fun, I'm going to click on Pirate because I think this is so funny. Let's get that course loaded. Ah, nice scenery. So let's start learning. You have five lessons in Pirate. I'm going to click on the first one. And call someone names is your first goal. <laughs> Express surprise, giving sale commands, greeting a friend and a superior, and paying a compliment. So let's get started calling someone names. Here's the conversation we'll be studying in this chapter. Blow me down, the ship's becalmed. Belay your carousing and haul wind smartly. Oh, my duty to you, Captain. The ship be now a sailing at full speed. Army hearty, a fine gentleman of fortune be ye. Aye, and finer still with a lass and some booty, I fancy. Now you have to admit that is a lot of fun. I think a lot of our young patrons might find this very interesting. I'm clicking to the next to begin my education in pirate. Listen carefully. Blow me down, the ship's becalmed. Means, oh my gosh, the ship isn't moving. Now you try, say. Blow me down, the ship's becalmed. Blow me down, the ship's becalmed. Now let's learn, oh my gosh. Blow me down. Blow me down. Blow me down. Is an expression of shock or surprise. There are a lot of colorful pirate phrases that mean the same thing, and we'll learn a couple more soon. Be careful using it referring to someone else, though. To blow a man down means to kill him. All right. I think we've had enough of pirate. You'll have to explore that on your own. And I want to thank you all for viewing this tutorial. And I hope if you have any questions uh, after you've done some exploring of the program on your own, that you will be sure to call the library to find out the answer. Thanks so much.